All right. Um, this problem was insanely difficult, but here's the one of the easiest ways to show it to you. So we start off with tangent plus cotangent in a being added in a binomial equals secant squared theta equals secant squared theta times co cosecant squared theta. So here's the quickest way to set this part up. Alright, so this pro this part of the problem we have to leave alone because in an equation like this you only touch one side of the problem and I'm going to tackle this one first so tangent and cotangent are equal to sine theta over cosine theta and cosine theta over sine theta respectively and because it's a binomial they have to split out and this will make them equal tangent squared theta I'll just do this one to make it a little bit easier plus t plus two tangent cotangent plus cotangent squared theta. Okay? Alright. So, these two are, in all reality, sine over cosine and cosine over sine, respectively. So, when you take them, sines will cancel out and cosines will cancel out and we'll be left with one and one we can just place over there two times one will just equal two so we can just move this around and make it a little bit easier on ourselves okay so we have tangent squared theta and cotangent squared theta in all actuality, cotangent squared theta is cosine over sine. And because it's squared, they both have to be squared. And tangent squared theta, in all actuality, is sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. Okay, and what happens when these two add is these two bottom ones have to become, we have to get a common denominator. So these two become one, then everything else will be over top of this. So we would have cosine, let's move this out of the way a bit, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. Um, let's move this on over a little bit so that we can see everything. That's all over this. Okay. And then from here this is all fine and good, but what about the two over here? We've completely left the two out. Well, what we have to do is we have to add the two back in. All right, so two will come back to because of the Pythagorean theorem for this, one, which was coupled up with the two will make cosine squared 
and sine squared theta. And there would still be 2 on top. And this will be added in because it's not being multiplied. These two are multiplying, and the rest of these are being adding, and they're all over this. Okay? So this is the same thing, so they can be added together. And this will be plus these two, which are the same thing, and they can be added together because they're adding. And then we have this. And it's all over this. Now this looks really familiar just with the different colors and different shapes. This is a binomial. And this can become sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. And then we have a binomial here all over cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. Alright. And then this is also Pythagorean theorem sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta always equals 1. So, once again, the 1 is added in. Alright. And then 1 squared is just 1. Okay, so now we have this pretty big fraction, so 1 over this pretty big fraction. So the best way to do this is split it up and then put them separate, okay? And then they're multiplying here. Well. We know that 1 over cosine is equal, to, we know that 1 over cosine is equal to secant, so that must also mean that cosine squared with 1 over top of it is equal to secant squared. And there is one part of our problem already done. We also know that sine over 1 is equal to cosecant. And so that must mean 1 over sine squared theta is equal to cosecant squared. Well, what do you know? They're exactly the same. So this means this is true, and the problem has been solved.